I realized that this was the story of the two of them, that this was her coming of age story, that it was this moment, the decision to publish the Pentagon Papers was really the moment in her life where she chose to be the person she was gonna be and where she found her voice. And it was really exciting for me, this concept of writing a sort of coming of age story about a woman in her 50s. You know, we tend to think that you come of age when you're 17 and I'm pretty hopeful that I did not turn into the person I was gonna be when I was 17 years old. And so you don't really realize until you get older that you come of age in many different times in your life, in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s. And something about Kay and that she had never had a time that she, she had never found her voice. She had never really been given the opportunity to step up and say, this is who I am. One of the men involved was a man named Daniel Ellsberg. And Daniel Ellsberg had been involved in the government for many years. At the time, he was working at RAND, which is sort of a think tank, a, a nonprofit think tank that does a lot of government theory, political theory. And he had worked for McNamara in the 60s, and in the early 60s. And he had gone to Vietnam a number of times. And in that, had had his opinions swayed fairly dramatically from being extremely supportive of the Vietnam War to throughout the process of collecting these documents and writing about them, realizing that the United States was knowingly sending American soldiers to go die. They knew that it was there was nothing to do, that there was no way to win. And but every president didn't want to be the president that lost Vietnam. For me, it was about getting her voice finally heard and having history recognize this woman and having an audience recognize this woman. And it's interesting because part of the story is having all of the people in the movie recognize her. And the ensemble, which is pretty stunning, um, not just the, the cast, but the actual people that are in this this, that this movie is about, um, it's about all of them sort of slowly turning their heads and realizing who she is, and that kind of she's been under their nose the whole time, but all of a sudden she has come to life. Carl Bernstein and Bob Woodward and Ben and Howard Simons and everyone involved in Watergate, they were allowed to investigate that story and to push the limit and keep saying on it when literally every paper was saying like there's nothing here because of the bond that was forged during the Pentagon Papers. It was really important to me to show these two women in Bradley's life and to show how they influence him and there's a scene that um, is in the film that has Tony basically tell Ben, get your head out of your ass. This isn't about you. Imagine what she's going through, meaning Kay. And he, she, she tells him about all these things that Kay goes through during the day that he never even thinks about. And you realize while she's giving the speech that it's not about Kay. It's about her and it's about every woman. And that was really important to me to make this story not small in terms of this is just about Katherine Graham standing her ground. It's about all women. So much of this movie could have been Kay Graham being a victim. There are a lot of things in Kay's life that happened to her that should have made her feel victimized and little and like, oh, woe is me. She never thought about it like that. She never, ever looked at herself that way. And that's a really, really fine line to walk um, in every aspect of making the movie, but particularly for Meryl. And I do not, I do not envy the job that she has. It's, it's daunting. And 
to watch her make it look so easy when I know that it's not, you know, is, is pretty remarkable.